Hey Elflings, it is a very tired looking Nico, but I'm okay. I woke up at noon today and I stayed up till three before I went back to sleep to wake up at like 6.30. I'm just a little tired, but I'm all right. I did not have an adoption this past week, but the week before I did and I made a video and I never posted it. So thank you to everybody who adopted from my autumn adoption in the Elven Grove. That has been amazing and I have put the remaining autumn pieces. Uh, there is jewelry pieces. There are, there is a one dragon. Actually, I have the dragon right here. Come here, babes. This is the dragon that's left. He's super cute. He's covered with glass rhinestones. Even on his tail. I don't know if you could, yeah, you can kind of see it. Anyway. Go back in your spot. Thank you. Um, and they're, like I said, jewelry, dragons, uh, lots of jewelry actually, and a couple of bookmarks. I did go kind of crazy making jewelry, but I do that. It's just a thing. I needed to do it. I need to get out of my system. So thank you for everybody who has bought. And if anybody's interested, it is on my Big Cartel website. Um, it's elvenspun.bigcartel.com. The link is below. All my links should be below. Should be. So, um, I was supposed to go out on Sunday. Did not happen, which is okay. I apologize for my shirt. It looks way more smaller fitting. It's okay. I have big boobs. It's fine. But, dang, like... <laughs> It just looks smaller than it looks when I look down at it. It's, it. It covers so much more when I'm looking down, but of course I don't see the spot. Anyway, that's really weird. Um, I was supposed to go out on Sunday. That did not happen, which is fine. So as punishment, I had my husband pick up an order at Michael's that I made. Got some stretch uh, jewelry cording because I'm going to make some spoopy bracelets. This is the main thing I needed. I need a transparent Sculpey. And I did do Sculpey 3. It is softer. The clays that I am using are not Sculpey 3. They are like Primo and it's harder. And this just makes it, it makes the clay last, like it stretches the clay out with the color. But it also makes it um, easier for my hands and fingers to work with. So this is the translucent clay. Yep. Very happy. I already went through my other... I think I went through a one pound one last time from the last time I got clay in. Anyway, that is, oh, my receipt. I did order some brown clay, but it has not, it was not part of the pickup order. Um, and I don't, I haven't looked to see if they updated anything for me. Let me put this with my receipt pile, but I did get couple of containers. These are the containers that, I mean, obviously different brands throughout the years, but these are the containers I use to store my clay in. Ooh. Uh, God, they're so nice. They're so pretty when they're not like, you know, covered in knife marks and, and pen marks and stuff. But these hold up very well. They hold clay well. I got this actually for beads. Like, eh. I did get it specifically for beads. I have been accruing many different colors and and sizes of glass beads. Okay, two different sizes at least of glass beads. And I want to be able to have a container open with the beads spread out in front of me. So I'm gonna actually use it for beads, which will be great. And it was on sale. It was like 50% off, so I just got two. I was going to get four, and I'm like, you know, I don't really need four right now. But it's, it's good. We just got two. Uh, on another note, Walmart has stopped selling this style of bead container. There are other plastic containers, but not this specific style. And I I fell in love with this style. Huh? <laughs> fell in love. Um... I learned how good this style was back in the very early 2000s and how durable it is because I did use it for beads. 
and stuff. And then it ended up transferring to clay. And it, I, it has at least the minimum standard, the, mi the minimum number that plastic needs. So you can store clay in it without it melting. Um, if you put clay in an acrylic case, like this, this little beautiful plasticky clear case, it will start melting the acrylic and the clay and it fuses into a nasty, nasty thing. And it's not really usable. And if you put it in a lower, like, ugh, God, I'm so sorry. Um, but now I have to say it since I started. So the plastic has a number rating of one. I want to say it's one through six, but it's normally one through five. Um, anything below a three, the polymer clay can eat through. I don't really see anything. I like, I see, you, it's, fudge, my words in my brain, huh. Um, so really, really thin plastic that is not a five, um, anything below a three. If you, if you stir the clay in it, it will start corroding the plastic, eating the plastic, melting, fusing into each other. It's gross, it's a mess. So heavy plastic, that is, that is the point of this. And these are usually a rating of five, the specific type of case. That's my point. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, yesterday I spent a good portion of the day making bookmarks. These are five different bookmarks. Um. I have been apparently figuring out my style for bookmarks and this is one style that I will end up calling just three chain because there are three chain elements. So we got a trick or treat one. That's what it literally says. It says trick or treat. It's so cute. I love it. I actually really like all the ones that I made. Ah! This is the haunted house one. There's a little haunted house. There's spider. There's a ghost. There's a little pumpkin right there. Very cute. Very cute. These little uh, beads glow in the dark. These are not glass beads. They're plastic beads, but they glow mega bright. I was impressed when I turned off the lights last night. This is my witch one. So there's a little, there's a little tiny pumpkin again, and there's a little tiny witch, little cat, and pentagram, and then a witch. So cute. And this is my, it's freaking bats. I twisted these. So there's literally just bats and a little pumpkin, a little silver pumpkin on this. But they're bats. Freaking bats. And then I have some cute Halloween skulls, some rainbow skulls. They're really, really cute. They actually just, they can rotate any direction because it's just a bead that I made into a little charm. <sighs> okay, so, huh. That's what I worked on yesterday, which was Monday. I personally love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks. Um, I collect adorable bookmarks, cute bookmarks usually, beautiful colored bookmarks. Uh, but I really, really have grown fond of metal bookmarks. Really, and I love just being able to now that I started making them, I love being able to make them and I want to make them always. So, yay. And um, today I will be mixing, I have, it's, it's over there just a little bit further, but I have the color palette for Halloween, for spoofy season. And it is, it is really pretty. It's, it's kind of traditional. I got like a marigold yellow and then, uh, pumpkin like a spice pumpkin spiced pumpkin orange I have a brown and black and like an emerald green not bright green but like a bluish greeny emerald color and silver 
and a lighter purple and then I have a violet purple. It's so pretty. I really like the colors together and I'm looking forward to working with those tonight. Yay! So that is... I dropped a bookmark. That is currently what I have. I have a crap ton of spoopy bits and bobs and things of stuff I want to make. I don't know what I'm going to start making after I I get um the clay. Sorry, I'm staring at the clay. After I get the clay mixed up with the translucent clay, I'm not sure what I'm going to start. I don't know if I want to do chibis first. I kind of want to do spoopy chibis in these Halloween colors. I, I want to do the creatures. I want to do jewelry. I want to do my moons. We'll figure it out. It'll all eventually get done. I did also, several weeks ago, get some coffins. This is currently holding Halloween charms, but I've gotten several coffins. I'm planning on staining and putting uh, felt on the inside for some jewelry boxes and embellishing. So yes, that is that is my thing. I am excited about it. I am so excited that spoopy season for me working has officially started. Let me try and put these down because I don't want to drop them. Yeah. I love spoopy season, if you can't tell. I am feeling a lot better. I'm feeling like 98% better. There's still a little bit of stuffiness in my nose. The weather did drop. It did get cold or up here in New England. Um, there is still like a thing in the back of my throat and I do cough usually when I'm laying down, but it's so much better. I feel so much better. I might not look a million percent today, but I feel way better than I have in a month now, which is crazy. My husband and I were talking about that. We're like, oh my God, this cough sucks, but I can't believe we're feeling better finally. I don't know what that was that he brought home, but, uh, and he figured out who patient zero was that brought it into his job. <laughs> and I was like, tell that guy to, and I said something mean. And I wasn't, I wasn't like serious. I was kidding. But he's like, no, no, the guy's cool. I'm like, fine. If he's cool, I guess. Anyway. I love you guys. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Mwah.